Back on the town hall with Let's Talk Stigma campaign. Today, the Erie County Anti-Stigma Coalition held an event to celebrate the success and highlights of workplace wellness. It's been a long three years for everyone, from the pandemic to deadly storms and a mass shooting. Everyone is affected in some way. Today, I spoke with Melinda Du Bois, Executive Director of Mental Health Advocates, about the Anti-Stigma Coalition. It's been around for six years. The coalition has grown from 16 to 108 organizational members. We had somebody from Child and Family Services, Geico, um, St. Mary's School in Kenmore, and Walsh Duffield. Um, one of the other special guests was um, somebody from TOPS, an HR manager from TOPS, really talking about her experience at TOPS and the work that they did within um, TOPS with their associates after the 514s. A lot of workplaces realized that they had to make some major shifts. Um, you know, in the way they operate during COVID, but they also started to recognize that a lot of their associates, coworkers, a lot of staff were really struggling when it came to mental health and well-being. And so more and more companies, more and more workplaces are really dedicating time and effort towards recognizing the needs of their workers. And it's a necessity. More people are willing to talk about their struggles. More people are willing to reach out and ask for help. But we have to be able to give resources and opportunities and spaces for people to communicate their concerns. So if you go to our website, letstalkstigma.org, there's an opportunity to take a pledge. And that pledge is really important. We have over 4,000 people that have taken the pledge. The pledge is very simple. It talks about not using stigmatizing language when you're talking about mental health, like not using words like that was crazy or insane. And the coalition has expanded into Niagara and Chautauqua counties. Every month, people come together for Facebook Live panel discussions. The website, letstalkstigma.org.